Pike is an assassin support who's able to quickly speed around the map with his high mobility, catch out and lock down his opponents as well as instantly execute any low health enemies with his ultimate. However, missing his ult does completely deny his kill on reset potential and missing his Q leaves him very open to retaliation. Pike is also quite a tricky champion to learn and his supporting playstyle is fairly unique and will certainly take a mindset change to make it work. When it comes to your runes, you want to pick up Hail of Blades as it really helps out your burst and trading potential. After that, take Sudden Impact and Zombie Ward. Relentless Hunter or Ultimate Hunter are both great options as well, so try and weigh up if you want more ultimates or more roaming potential depending on the game's draft. For your secondary tree, you do have a few options, but the most common one to go for is Resolve, opting for Bone Plating and Unflinching for some extra durability. For your skill order, maxing Q is definitely the way to go as you want to get that hook cooldown as low as possible. After that, max your E and finally your W to finish. So when it comes to your mythic item, Duskblade of Drakthar is a solid choice to go for. It drastically increases his burst damage potential, whilst allowing him to easily slip away after securing a takedown. When combined with Pike's ultimate resets, this can be actually really hard to play against. You can also go for a Plowless Claw if you're feeling brave though. This has amazing synergy with your E, but it is fairly tricky to get the hang of. After that, you want to go for Pauldrons of White Rock, Umbral Glaive, Axiomark or Yumu's Ghostblade. For some slightly more defensive choices, there's Edge of Night, More of Mamortius, and Guardian Angel. Finally, don't forget about those extra situational items too. Kenpunk Chainsword or Serpent's Fang are pivotal in certain circumstances. So against easier matchups, you're going to want to abuse your advantage in the lane phase using your Q to catch out an opponent whilst combining it with your E to lock them down and take them out. Your level 2 is exceptionally strong, so try and get the level up first and chase kills if you can. Once you reach level 6 and level your ultimate, look for opportunities to all in your opponents often to grab you and your lane partner an insane amount of kill gold. Against harder matchups though, you want to focus on carefully looking for picks with your Q. Now although you may struggle compared to easy lanes, you can still carry bad lanes by catching out enemies and bursting them down. Don't hesitate to try and roam elsewhere as well though. Pike's ganks are extremely punishing, especially as it's so easy to get there with your insane mobility. Once you reach level 6 and level your ultimate, you can now look for opportunities to turn the tables around, especially if you focus on those squishy targets who die rather quickly. Pike synergizes really well with champions who can follow up with huge damage when he goes for all-ins, as well as being able to hold their own in lanes where he can go off and roam to gank other lanes. Anyone who can provide enough burst damage to get Pike into ultimate range is pretty much perfect. Additionally, a specific mention goes to Vigar, as you can hook people into his cage and there's not really much chance of surviving that one. So in the lane phase, you're going to want to look to get the level 2 jump on your opponents. Having that level advantage will allow you to get some quick kills to put your lane ahead early, especially with Ignite. Remember that your W can be used to heal up any poke you've recently received, while it also keeps you out of sight. This is also a great way to sneak around the alcoves and search for cheeky hooks in lane. You want to always be on the lookout to see if you can roam to other lanes though. With your mobility, high damage and heavy lockdown, you can easily gank and put your lanes ahead. Your level 6 power spike is massive. It allows you to go for all-ins on your opponents easily, and it's especially useful for when both opponents are low, so you can use your ultimate resets to get multi-kills. In team fights, though, you're going to want to stick with your team as much as you can, as being caught out on your own could mean a swift death, and it will put your team behind. Conversely, you can also look to flank your opponents. With your kit, you can easily make picks and disrupt the enemy team long enough for your team to pile in. You want to make sure you're looking to hit priority targets with your hook. Should you grab the wrong target though, such as a beefy frontliner, you could end up giving the enemy team an advantage. Remember that your ultimate will be an absolute godsend in teamfights, with the potential to completely wipe them away if you manage to get resets. Overall, Pike is all about sticking with your team, landing hooks, getting picks, and landing those ultimate resets. Let's finish off now with just a quick few tips. So remember that when you charge your Q, you'll be able to instantly follow that up with an auto attack, is even if you throw the target out of auto attack range, it'll allow you to quickly rack up damage in a short trade. You can use your W straight after your E to increase that stun range. You want to use this to surprise enemies who think they're safely out of range. This also applies to your E flash. Your E can also be used to jump over most walls on the map. You can use this to escape from sticky situations whilst also potentially stunning any enemies who are chasing you. That's going to conclude our short guide on Pike. Good luck and have fun.